Agritech was a, was, a, was a very interesting project for us for multiple reasons. So one of them is that it's an actual tech for good project. So we, we have the ability to help farmers in general to optimize the uh, usage of power that they have and optimize the usage of water and get the best yield possible. The internet at the farm is really limited. Our solution needs to be able to handle the farm even there's no internet connection. And uh, of course our, our data will push to the cloud. To automatically manage uh, the big pans, uh, which is a key part for us because it's uh, helping us to manage the uh, temperature inside the greenhouse. The uh, automation part, smart switches, are all connected to uh, this uh, generator over there. This generator is connected to the solar panels that we have behind, providing solar power of electricity. The fans that are over here, which are piloted by the smart switches on the other side, are pushing fresh air into the greenhouse. The switches are activated by one every minute to reach the right uh, speed and then to decrease the amount of power that they're consuming. We managed to activate and uh, deactivate the fan with the, the application. These are the uh, sprinklers that are used to increase the humidity. So this one also are piloted by the system. So these are the sensors which are providing humidity and temperature. These are industrial sensors. They have a battery life of three to five years. This one over here is a soil sensor. So the soil sensor has three prongs um, in, the, in, the, in the ground. And we use that information to know if we are missing enough or not. We are currently collecting the data when there is like what is the temperature change or humidity change when we run any automation. When I say automation is like misting, dripping or fanning, what is the actual change which happens and capture that data and then later train our model that whether the model is uh, able to predict that if I want to reduce the temperature by 7 degree, how long I need to run a fan. We can use uh, chatbots through uh, multimedia and uh, we can tap in like a temperature now. It will give the current temperature of the farm. And if you key in humanity now, it will give the current humanity in the farm. On top of that, if we can get the information about the yield later, we will be able to uh, help the farmer to get, for example, loans, because we will have a lot of information about exactly how much power we are using, exactly how much um, uh, water we are consuming and um, the kind of yield that we can expect if we get that. And then there were a lot of questions about uh, being able to uh, be completely resilient. So if we have a failure of one pie or two pies, we should be able to continue working. All the problems that we had um, in the past three days, uh, as I said, uh, power, water, batteries and so on, uh, these are things that we can uh, fix or that we can find work around for and these are uh, the kind of problems that are going to happen in other farms. So we had a lot of learnings uh, out of uh, this uh, issue and also a lot of learning on how to fix that the next time we are moving to, uh, to another farm, the next time we deploy the same kind of system. So this particular project is like, is exactly what I wanted to do always. And from like zero he started, he built his uh, farm and then we have a tech site where we do like all the data capture and he has like misting system, dripping system, fanning system. It collects water from the pond. We discuss all together, find solution all together. We are trying to target the farmers at a developing country with a limited budget. With Palo IT, we will be able to uh, define uh, our own device that we could use within the farm. This kind of technology is accessible to farmers like me, but to other, uh, other farmers around the world.